Retribution for Israel's Sin Israel is a luxuriant vine, he produces fruit for himself. The more his fruit, the more altars he made, the richer his land, the better he made the memorial stones. Their heart is deceitful, now they must suffer for their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their memorial stones. Certainly now they will say, We have no king, for we do not revere the Lord. As for the king, what can he do for us? They speak mere words with worthless oaths they make covenants, and judgment sprouts like poisonous weeds in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria will fear for the calf of Bethaven. Indeed, its people will mourn for it, and its idolatrous priests will cry out over it, over its glory, since it has left it. The thing itself will be brought to Assyria as a gift of tribute to King Jareb, Ephraim will be seized with shame, and Israel will be ashamed of its own plan. Samaria will be destroyed with her king, like a twig on the surface of the water. Also the high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, will be destroyed, thorns and thistles will grow on their altars, then they will say to the mountains, cover us. And to the hills, fall on us. Since the days of Jibia you have sinned, Israel, there they stand. Will the battle against the sons of injustice not overtake them in Jibia? When it is my desire, I will discipline them, and the peoples will be gathered against them when they are bound for their double guilt. Ephraim is a trained heifer that loves to thresh and I passed over her lovely neck, I will harness Ephraim, Judah will plow, Jacob will harrow for himself. Sow for yourselves, with a view to righteousness, harvest in accordance with kindness. Break up your uncultivated ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness, you have harvested injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies. Because you have trusted in your way, in your many warriors. An uproar will arise among your people, and all your fortresses will be destroyed, as shall man destroyed Beth Arbil on the day of battle, when mothers were slaughtered with their children. So it will be done to you at Bethel because of your great wickedness. At dawn the king of Israel will be completely destroyed, 